once that we have all the pieces ready, it is time to integrate everything into one complete solution. So we want to integrate our ignition solution through the flask to our Python machine learning code. So on our Python side, we have our machine learning uh, script that we uh, created in the previous video. And we have our flask test where we tested the different routes for our uh, flask uh, application. So here we can create a new route. And let's say we call it ML as a machine learning. And here we can actually just go and uh, copy paste our uh, code from our machine learning uh, Python script. In fact, uh, this is a, also a good point about using Python is that we can test our code or our machine learning model independently of the ignition solution and uh, uh, of everything else. We can test that it works uh, and performs as we want it. And then once we are happy with what we get with our results, we can uh, copy that to our Flask application and connect it to Ignition. So I will copy this code in this uh, route. Okay, and uh, probably I don't need this plotting part. I don't need this error, uh, error um, calculations. Okay, and also I need to get some of these imports. I don't need the plotting library. I don't need this metrics because I don't use it. So that is it. And so now in our uh, Flask application, we have a route called ML as machine learning. And in it, I have copied the whole code. So here we have both the setting up of the model, the training phase and the testing phase. Of course, in a solution, we can separate all these things into different routes. So we can, for example, have a route for uh, taking the data from the database. We can have a route for, uh, for example, for training the model. We can have a route for testing the model. We can have a route for predicting some future states uh, with our new data that we uh, want to uh, pass to our machine learning model. So this is just a simple example where we put everything under one route called machine learning and uh, where we will set up the model, train the model, test the model and uh, uh, save the predictions to our database. Another thing in our Flask test is that we uh, have to add in the end of this route when it is done to return, for example, done because our ignition um, message uh, script will expect a return from our uh, Flask uh, uh, function. Okay, so we save this and we can go over to ignition. Uh, here we have our solution in which you remember we have our gateway events, our message events to uh, start the Flask server to send the URL with our route to the Flask server and to stop it. And also in our perspective module, we have the view called uh, Flask Python run, where we can start the Flask server, stop it or run the route that we add into this input uh, text field. So I will just uh, launch the perspective session for my project. So here is the table with the data from the database where we have the temperatures, the heat demands for every hour in a one month period. And uh, by pressing this icon here, we open the pop-up to run our Python script. So from here, we can start the Flask server. And here we get the message that the Flask server is ready. You remember here in the Flask route, we can add, for example, the test route 
and here we get the response that this is our second test function or whatever we added in our Python uh, code in our Flask application. And of course, here we can finally test our Flask route for machine learning that we just created and run it. And once it is done, it will just um, return the message done that we just added back there. So this message done means that our uh, function, uh, our whole function for machine learning, where we have uh, the setting up of the model, the training of the model, the testing of the model, and uh, the and saving the predicted data into the database took place successfully and reached the end of our uh, function and returned that it is done. So here, for example, I can stop the Flask server and close this pop-up. And uh, in this uh, small uh, perspective solution, I also have this trend uh, part where we can uh, see the same data fetched from the database where uh, we stored the predictions, the heat demand predictions, which are this uh, light blue, which is this light blue line. And we have the real heat demand, which is this uh, darker blue line. So this is in fact the same uh, uh, graph that we got in Python when we tested our code. So here in Ignition, we see that we can access the same data uh, from the database and display it for our uh, user. So this was the last uh, video in this uh, series about this example for machine learning in Ignition. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, you can, of course, uh, download all the code from the Ignition Exchange website and you can test it out for yourself. You can change the model, you can test it with different error metrics and see what you get. You can also try it with some of your own data and uh, uh, try it out and see how it goes.